Hello again, and welcome to another review. As you can see, I was just having my lunch before filming begun. Anyway, if you could just give me a few more seconds to finish up, I will start the review. Today's review will be... Hold on. Wait a second. What's this in my Happy Meal? It looks like an S game. How the hell did that get in here? Okay, change of plan. I was going to review the Super Mario Bros. 3, but I'll leave that for another day. Because today's review will be of the McDonald game called Mickets. Mickets or McDonald Land, as it's known in Europe, was released near the end of the NES's lifetime. At first glance, it is apparent, that this game is nothing more than a commercial gimmick, like Barbie, and a ripoff from Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay, so at the start of the game, you get to pick between being the white kid, or at least I think he's white, he looks kind of yellow to me, or the black kid. While I'm on the subject of race, why didn't McDonald's include other ethnic kids to choose from? Isn't McDonald's a multicultural business? Or is that Coca-Cola I'm thinking of? I'd like to teach the world to sing with me. Perfect harmony. Perfect harmony. I'd like to buy the world a Coke and keep it company. That's the real thing. I'd like to teach the world. Anyway, moving on. The story starts with the Hamburglar, stole on old McDonald's magic bag. And it is up to you to catch the Hamburglar and retrieve the bag. What a lazy clown. And if that wasn't bad enough, you have to collect cards, to move on to the next stage. There are cards in each level, but the thing I found strange, and a relief at the same time, was that you don't need to collect all the cards to move on. Unless you are so sad and desperate to reveal the full picture in the top right, hand corner. Throughout the levels, you'll notice that instead of coins, you collect eggs. Collecting these will make you a fat bastard. Talking of fat, the characters look chubbier than Mario. Better lay off the big bags. There are also extra lives scattered throughout each level, which is worth picking up, considering the game will get more challenging. But no good who is high on Big Max, is ever going to accomplish this game in an afternoon, let alone get past the first few stages. Along the way, you'll meet some of Ronald McDonald's friends who will give you hints and tips. Oh, look. It's Barney's, deformed twin that survived the abortion his mother had. I love you, you love me, we're a happy but what the hell is Marge Simpson doing in this game? The levels are basic to begin with, but become more challenging as you progress, with secret passages hidden in the most unlikely places. These passages look like zippers, and can be hard to find. Who the hell would think to look here? You would think you'll fall to your death, if you jump down here. What makes this game unique is the ability to go upside down which opens up an entire new perspective. But be careful you don't fly off the screen. However, one thing which really pisses me off, is that you can't jump on your enemies. Instead, you have to throw blocks which, most of the time, will bounce over them. Damn, those retarded gophers really piss me off. To be fair, as a video game it isn't bad. The graphics are good, to say the least, even though the characters' faces kind of freak me out a little. And the sound is not bad either. But the difficulty level is insane, for a little kid's game. After the first couple of stages, it will shoot up from easy to hard, but the game is accomplishable, if you have enough patience. Another thing which is annoying, is some of the locations the designers place the extra lives. Look at this, come on, that's just cruel. The designers must have been laughing their asses off. And did you know, there is a suicide button? Yes, it's true. If you press start and then select, you can kill your character yourself. 
that is freaking sick, but pleasurable at the same time. Despite the game being one big advert for McDonald's, it is actually an okay platformer, and I would strangely recommend this for your collection. So if you're lucky enough to find this in your Happy Meal, don't throw it away. Keep it.